Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to crossfade between vocal effects in BandLab. Tap on the plus icon. Then tap on Voice Audio. Then tap on the X icon. Now tap on the vocal recording. And tap on the copy icon on the pop-up menu. Then tap on the new audio track. And tap on the pop-up paste icon. Standing in the hole by the back door Waiting for a call from another life Now double tap on the duplicate vocal track header. Tap on auto pitch. Tap on robot. Then press your finger on the intensity knob icon and drag up the screen until it says 100% on the pop-up message. Standing in the hole by the back door Waiting for a call from another life Now tap on effects Tap on the plus icon Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen And tap on the delay tab Then tap on filter echo plus now tap on the text box to the right of the word mix. Type in 20. And tap on save. Then tap on the text box to the right of the word feedback. Type in 20. And tap on save. Now tap on the back arrow at the top left of the screen. Then tap on the X icon at the top right of the screen. Standing in the hole by the back door Waiting for a call from another life Now here I want only the vocal lyrics Waiting for a call to be robotic. So first I will two finger pinch out on the screen to zoom in on the tracks. Then I will drag my finger across the screen to move the track position marker just before the vocal lyric waiting. Oh, by the back door, waiting, 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 oh, waiting, waiting, waiting. Then tap on the vocal track and tap on the split icon on the pop-up menu. Then tap on the duplicate track and tap on the split icon on the pop-up menu. Next, I will drag the screen to move the track position marker just after the vocal lyric, cool. Waiting for a call from another level. I'm waiting for a call, 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 call. Then tap on the vocal track and tap on the split icon on the pop up menu and then tap on the duplicate track and tap on the split icon on the pop up menu. Now I will tap on the vocal section on the vocal track. and then tap on the delete icon on the pop-up menu. And then tap on the recording before the vocal section on the duplicate track. And tap on the delete icon on the pop-up menu. And then tap on the recording after the vocal section on the duplicate track. And tap on the delete icon on the pop-up menu. So now I have this. Stand
Standing in the hole by the back door Waiting for a cough come another life Now I have my two tracks ready to create the crossfade. So I will tap on the recording before the vocal section on the vocal track. Press on the dot at the end of the recording and drag it to the right to bring the vocal lyric weight back on the recording. And then tap on the recording after the vocal section on the vocal track. And press on the white dot at the beginning of the recording and drag it to the left to bring the vocal lyric call back on the recording. So now I have this. Standing in the hole by the back door Waiting for a cough come another life Now I will tap on the vocal section on the duplicate track and drag the white dot at the beginning to the left and the white dot at the end to the right. This will bring back a few vocal lyrics at the beginning and the end of the vocal section. So it now sounds like this. Standing in the hole by the back door Waiting for a cough come another life Finally, I will add the crossfade. So I will tap on the recording before the vocal section on the vocal track. Tap on the three dots on the pop-up menu. And then tap on fade on the pop-up menu. And then drag the right dot on the line at the bottom of the screen to the left. So the diagonal line on the recording is about a quarter of a note long. And then tap on the recording after the vocal section on the vocal track. Tap on the three dots on the pop-up menu. And tap on fade on the pop-up menu. And then drag the left dot on the line at the bottom of the screen to the right. So the diagonal line on the recording is about one quarter note long. And next, I'll tap on the vocal section on the duplicate track. Tap on the three dots on the pop-up menu. And tap on fade on the pop-up menu. And then drag both dots on the line at the bottom of the screen. So the left diagonal line on the vocal section lines up with the end of the vocal recording on the vocal track. And the right diagonal line lines up with the beginning of the recording on the vocal track that is after the vocal section. Then tap on the tick icon. So now I have this. Standing in the hole by the back door Waiting for a cough from another life If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that 
subscribe button. Cheers.